a little snowy. How about that? We're going to start with 4 Live Radar in Wayne County, where it's the worst. Those dark blues, some decent snow showers across I-96, I-94, just a little slippery in a few spots. So be careful. Temps are in the 30s, but wind chills are in the 20s. That's what you want to dress for as you're heading out and about. Snow showers primarily this morning, although through the day our north zone in the thumb will continue to see those snow showers with gusty west northwest winds keeping these 30s feeling like 20s all day. We will get back into some sunshine starting tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. Look very bright and warming once again. And now our energy focuses on what was a Category 5 devastating hurricane that is pounding the same area twice uh, back to back here. And Paul Gross is standing by in the weather office. And for those of you who don't know, Paul uh, uh, travels internationally to talk at weather conferences. And Paul, you're finding out information, uh, more devastating stuff from this storm. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, Brandon, you and I have to talk about a worst case scenario. Well, what I'm about to share with you is like worse than the worst case scenario. Now, here's the storm, and I'm going to talk about Nicaragua in a minute. But off the coast, there is a Colombian island. The island's name is Providencia, and that island got hit by the storm when it was a Category 5. I'm hearing from one of my colleagues that the mayor of that island is calling it a disaster he, uh, this is unconfirmed, but the mayor is saying 98% of the buildings on the island are destroyed. The roof of the hospital has been ripped off. Now, that was that island offshore. This storm made landfall in Nicaragua only 12 miles away from where Category 4 Hurricane Ada hit just two weeks ago. The devastation we're going to see in Nicaragua, in that part of Central America, is going to be catastrophic as well. So this has been a worst-case scenario, and we're just going to wait now and see for the reports to come out of the area. All right, Brandon, let's set it back to you for the seven day. Oof. Well, that brought me chills uh, in a bad way, Paul. That's a terrible storm down there. And what could be the last hurricane of the hurricane season in the Atlantic could be... Uh, and likely will be the strongest of the season at Cat 5. Whew, man, we just thank our lucky stars, even with some snow showers not to be taken for granted this morning. But uh, we do have some improvements after chilly wind, chilly 20s today. We're into the 40s tomorrow and then 50s to near 60 Thursday, Friday is going to be a little windy. And we do have some weekend showers, guys, that we'll work on trying to get those out of there. But right now, we do have shower chances both days.